This is Islamophobia Awareness Month, and I'm really concerned that we see you know, a very stubborn presence of Islamophobia in the UK. You know, in 2018 to 19, 47 percent of religiously motivated hate crimes were directed towards Muslim people. Very disturbingly, we see it's only dropped by 2% for the last recorded year, 2020 to 2021. So we're not seeing Islamophobia sadly going down. Actually, it's increasing in some communities. We need to see really firm action against it. So I think there are a lot of actions that we need to take to combat Islamophobia. I would say, first of all, politicians have got to take responsibility for this. You know, we're very clear in the Labour Party that actually Islamophobia is everyone's business. We're being very clear within our own party, for example. We want to make sure that our processes are really strong against Islamophobia. I would like to see the Conservative Party doing the same because I think some comments, for example, even by the Prime Minister, have been incredibly damaging. We also then need to see action taken against all forms of hate, including online hate. And Labour has been calling for the online harms bill to be made much stronger so that we can be stamping out that online hatred. And then, of course, we also need to see the criminal justice system dealing with this firmly and resolutely. So there is a lot that needs to be done to combat Islamophobia. The issue of uh, hate crime, look, this has been a huge concern to me. I have seen the numbers going up and up. Uh, I've seen this here in Britain, I've seen this in Europe, and therefore we have a responsibility to tackle this. For many years now, we've been pushing on this. APPG and British Muslims have got a definition. They worked extremely hard with excellent expert people being pulled together to bring that definition. Now, uh, more than 800 organizations have accepted this. Hundreds of councils and, and the mayors and others have accepted this. Almost all the political parties have accepted this except, except for our government and this is where the pressure is now why is it this government is failing to implement this why are they not accepting this which is acceptable to most Muslims you know they agree with it why they don't want to get on with dealing with the problem why are they stuck with the label you know whether you call this anti-muslim hatred or Islamophobia no it, it, that label is secondary the key issue is the Muslim community are suffering Next week on Wednesday we have a debate which I've skewed and again our community should reach to their MPs and ask them because they are their representative to make sure they go and represent them in that debate and say that this is not acceptable and I'm sure that would create a pressure on the government and the government would then be forced to accept the definition because once we accept the definition then we can at least measure it properly and then do something to uh, finish this issue altogether because it shouldn't be but people should not be suffering. Thank you.